This is Alex Kahn with our post. Our post offers registered email plus proof and privacy. And the service does that by providing an end-to-end -end encryption product for compliance. When we look at encryption, we've certainly talked to a number of different companies, and some of them have tried or were using other types of encryption services. Now, the reason they chose our post or dropped those other services and came to our post, one of the main reasons is simplicity for the receiver. Now, I mentioned our post is a push strategy. The email goes right into the receiver's inbox, and they may be either online or offline to be able to view that encrypted email and attachments. And it's important because if it's complicated, the receiver simply won't open it. And here's an example of the R post encryption way and another services encryption steps. Let's just go through it. R post, the receiver gets an encrypted email, possibly unexpected. They open up the email attachment, input the decryption password, and they simply view the email and attachments inside their PDF reader. It's an AES encrypted PDF right on their desktop, and they can view it online or offline, and that's it. Now, other companies, they receive an email, possibly unexpected. They open up the email attachment, and they have to be online. They register or click on a button or a link to register, and their web browser opens up, and they create an account using a registration page. They enter data, possibly private data, into a field or multiple fields to register for the service, get a confirmation email back, and then they click on a link in the confirmation email. The browser opens again, and they can view the original email and attachment, put in their password, and in order to download or put the attachment on their desktop, they have to actually save it on their desktop. So we were told 20% is a good number for emails that are received and being opened using that process. 20%. That means 80% of the emails sent encrypted through that process, those services, just never open. And if they're not opened, the provider is not able to give that proof of delivery, unlike our post. So what happens when they say, I never got it? You never sent that to me. You can't prove it. And more importantly, which email would you open or would your recipients open? And the clear answer is the R post way. For any additional questions, certainly send an email to info at rpost.com.